ChatGPT is bringing the world to its knees with its incredible language model. Dolly is wiping out visual artists as if their graphic art degrees were worthless. No one is safe and who's behind all of this? The San Francisco based tech company OpenAI. Welcome to the Jay Sparrow Start Programming channel. My name is Ben and in this video I'm going to tell you the whole story of OpenAI, whether they are a reliable business and what their objectives are for global dominance. Some of the most well-known figures in the technology sector are part of OpenAI including Elon Musk, Sam Altman, Greg Brockman and Ilya Saskiver. The stated goal of these founders was to establish a business that would make AI open, shared with everyone, in order to prevent the concentration of AI power in the hands of a small number of individuals. A wonderful objective, however, they didn't quite achieve it. We will discuss more of that later. You see, if artificial intelligence progresses as expected, it will be the most powerful innovation ever made. We will soon have affordable desktop PCs that are hundreds of times more intelligent than humans thanks of the exponentially falling cost of computing power. Desktop PCs that have the ability to treat every sickness and resolve the most difficult mathematical and physical challenges. But what did OpenAI do to accomplish these ambitious goals? They established a non-profit organization. This means that their business must be mission-driven with the focus on benefiting society instead of maximizing profit. Their conformity with their stated mission in this example, the safe use of artificial intelligence, is the foundation for the IRS auditing them. Sadly, the non-profit system was also short-lived. In its early years, OpenAI produced a number of products including a Dota playing robot, a cool robot hand that can solve Rubik's cubes and lastly, their language processing engine and Chad's grandma GPT GPT-2. Things start to become interesting here first. Elon Musk quits the organization because he believes having a conflict of interest by working for both OpenAI and Tesla. And OpenAI decided against making the GPT-2 API available to the general public because of concerns that it will be used for the worst imaginable evil in 2019, creating false news. The company that had first intended to be so transparent and share its AI with the world declares that it will now be kept private. Also in 2019, OpenAI AI decides to go from non-profit to for-profit. Well, not entirely, only a little fraction of their business was turned into a for-profit venture and this portion remains under the parent non-profit organization. Regardless, these guys are starting to seem a bit shady. They switched but only under certain conditions. For instance, the maximum return on investment for investors is a hundredfold return. This looks like a huge return and it is, but the point is that the returns will be nearly endless if they succeed in creating artificial general intelligence. Intelligence. This allows investors to profit significantly without acquiring limitless wealth and power once AGI reaches 4. Why then did they decide to go for profit? OpenAI claims that this is a result of the intense competition in the AI industry. They were simply unable to keep up. Then Dolly and GPT-3 are let through. From the stormy rise to dominance of OpenAI, Dolly 2 and GPT-3 developed as two incredibly powerful systems. The world has been stunned by both products. Users can enter whatever text prompt they like into Dolly and the application will generate an image that represents that prompt. The global community has been shocked by this and several digital artists are outraged. And now, ChatGPT, which is accessible to anyone with a web browser, is demonstrating intelligence that is nearly human-like. Ask it to write you a poem about the 2020 pandemic in the style of Shakespeare. Done. Ask it to solve logical word problems. Done. For anyone who had any doubts about the potential of AI, these two products alone should be a huge wake-up call. What does this mean then? In this video, I'd like to emphasize the fact that AI is less and less a trendy term and more and more a powerful force for disruption. And those who control it are a few, even if a business like OpenAI claims that it wants to share it with everyone. Think about how AI processing power doubles every three months. This indicates that in a year we could have a system that is eight times as strong as GPT-3, and in two years a system that is 128 times as powerful. AI systems will surpass human in intelligence very soon and they will unquestionably change everything. And sloppy startups like OpenAI and mysterious IT powerhouses like Google are in control of these systems. Can we trust these organizations? It's difficult to say, but I must emphasize to you, the viewer, that the years ahead will be very, very exciting. Finally, I would like to point out our programmer tool, Captain J Sparrow, which is very powerful in refactoring code and works similar to an AI. The software scans your source code, finds and fixes bugs, removes that code and makes your code perfectly organized. We already disassembled a few open source projects and the results have been incredible. With J Sparrow, those projects were able to save thousands of hours of working time and hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
The best part is that you can simply download Jay Sparrow for free. Just click the link in the video description and see for yourself. As a developer, I'm sure you will love it. With that in mind, I want you to thank you for watching and if you could do me a favor, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the thumbs up button. It would really help us grow this channel. In this sense, I wish you a lot of fun in the world of tech and programming. We'll see each other again in the next video and goodbye.